Hey guys, it's Symphony. There is a basket of pillows behind me. Please ignore that. Oh, life could be a dream. If I could take you up in paradise, I If you would tell me I bought Kitty a new mouse today. And he loves it. I wanted to start this new series on my channel. I don't even know how to fully explain it. But basically, I want to call them Big Sister Chats. And I really just want to kind of like give you guys advice and let you guys know that you're not alone with a lot of different like difficult struggles in life. So this is the first video and I'm honestly super nervous about it. I've literally got one page, two pages, and another half of a page of all different subjects that I eventually want to cover. So I thought that I would go ahead and just like do my makeup while I talk to you guys to help kind of like break up any awkwardness because trying to sit down and just speak to a camera is like kind of difficult for me especially when talking about super serious topics like this let's see which one do i really want to talk about because a few of these are like a lot more serious topics that i really don't want to like fuck up and i should probably do a little bit more planning on so i think i'm just gonna focus on self-love today which is pretty cool self-love is a journey i will say that to start things off it's really complicated being a woman in today's society and like to kind of break past that and to love yourself no matter what it's very hard and um it's definitely something that you gotta kind of learn as you get older i think the first thing to kind of touch on is comparing yourself and honestly with social media these days it is so hard not to fall on that toxic ass train of just like checking up on other people's social media constantly and comparing yourself to girls you see online um mixed in with just the way that society makes women feel that they need to look a certain way it's really really hard to kind of break past that especially to have like the strength in yourself to be like okay i'm better than this and i'm not perfect no one is perfect and we can all be beautiful even though we all look different like obviously there is not one direct definition of beauty there are so many different forms of beauty there's internal beauty there's external beauty like being beautiful in the societal standard on the outside is not all there is to beauty i think that the majority of beauty should be coming from within but you know i think with social media and everything it's so easy to get caught up with like wanting to look a certain way and only put your best self out there self-love is literally like so much more also than just like learning to love your body it's learning to like accept that you've made mistakes in your past and choosing to grow and move forward and you know just evolve as a person i think just like the first thing though is really just learning to like accept yourself and accept your flaws and accept that you're not perfect and that nobody's perfect and that is literally okay my journey with self-love was very very rocky because i have been through trauma i was bullied very badly growing up i had no friends in high school i don't know i was always just looked at as kind of being like the weird kid and like that's why people would really pick on me a lot in school i guess like to put it in the most blunt way like I was kind of an easy target, I was a very sensitive person growing up, still am, and I just like, you know, really wanted to make people happy and I wanted people to like me. Just common things, I think for like every girl that's kind of growing up, especially that kind of grew up awkwardly and with a lot of trauma. And so I'm not going to touch on like my trauma a whole lot in this video because I really want to keep this one more on the positive side and I don't want to delve into that subject because that's for another video um, but all throughout my life like I've mainly had issues with like my weight and my size because I am naturally so fucking skinny and skinny shaming is so fucking real and like especially more lately with like this whole like girls wanting to be thick and everything and like i love that but i think that like as great as it is i feel like a lot of it has turned into just instantly skinny shaming and it's like why can't we just both be beautiful like and accept our bodies and love our bodies like because i'm all for like body positivity and like you don't have to be a size fucking zero to be pretty like 
thick girls are so insanely beautiful and gorgeous and that's like I don't want to seem like I'm coming off trying to say anything else. The thing that's specifically coming into my mind that I think will kind of like make the most sense is that one stupid fucking song by that one like white girl who raps and I don't even know the name of the song but it's like she says so many like low-key insulting or honestly high-key insanely insulting things towards skinny girls and every time I hear that song like it literally like hurt you can empower yourselves without like making other girls feel like shit like that is just like not okay to me and like I hate that this is like how society is it was already bad when like we were kids and social media wasn't really around and it was mostly just like magazines and advertisements and now it's like our favorite clothing brands like our favorite influencers and like I just feel like it is so hard to not compare yourself anyway I'm gonna keep talking about like my journey with self-love because I'm not like fully there necessarily but I've definitely come a very long way holy hell kitty you did that you you did that kitty Look at this. I just scratched my ankle because I was itching. You can't even see it. Oh, that hurts. I'm just gonna keep on moving, so. <laughs> it's not even so much that I got like bullied for my weight, but like, I would just always get comments about it. My stepmom used to constantly like, make comments on my body and it would always make me really uncomfortable and like, the more that people kind of like point things out good or bad it would just make me like so insecure and i would just instantly like start thinking about it and then i became really obsessive so i wanted to work out like i thought i was fat in like certain areas like i thought that i had like a really big stomach because like my stomach literally has never been flat i have always had an issue with bloating and like I just feel like my stomach kind of sticks out and that's normal and that's natural and I also hated like having like tummy rolls too which I've learned to just not really give a shit about I just beat myself up about it like really really hard lately I've been just really um focused on just enhancing what I already have and just keeping myself healthy and like physically feeling well and if I don't feel well then you know what's the fucking point i had and still sort of struggle with my boobs so i'm gonna be just completely transparent about this with you guys what's even the word i'm like out of breath because i've been talking non-stop but i just had a lot of very uh weird sexual experiences i had like a lot of girls um or a few girls specifically who experimented with me a lot it's natural for girls to want to experiment i guess but like in the way that it was happening i wasn't fully comfortable and it was very degrading to me specifically because one of the girls specifically would make comments about how like my body wasn't good enough and like my boobs were too small mind you i was in like fifth grade fourth grade um so I was young I had not even hit puberty yet I was just very like naive wanted to do anything to make my friends happy and whatever it was literally traumatic for me and I was exposed to sex at way too early in a of an age I did not understand what was going on and I didn't understand like the feelings and like just <sighs> it was just all really bad and just really unhealthy and um the things that she used to say to me still haunt me to this day and just something I've been like progressively trying to work through so then when I was around maybe 16 or so and I actually was like sexually assaulted by a very close friend and I'm not gonna say much more about that but it scarred me bad I'm like literally getting so nervous talking about this but I can talk about whatever the fuck I want because shit happened to me so that specific sexual assault started with she was touching my boobs a lot and that right there like triggered me and it stuff with my boobs still triggers me because of that sexual assault and um it's it sucks like I don't know how else to say it like it literally sucks and so I just had like a really really unhealthy relationship with myself and with my body and and very specifically my boobs I was really, really confident whenever I hit, 
like middle school and I actually did go through puberty it was probably about seventh grade and I got boobs very quickly I I don't know my boobs just literally like boing and I went from having no boobs at all to being like a C cup almost a D cup so I would literally wear push-up bras every day I thought I was hot shit because I finally had boobs and then same girl who used to like insult me and put me down went around the whole school telling everybody that I stuffed my bra and so I literally had people coming up to me they would look down my shirt and be like oh you don't stuff and it was just like so invasive and like oh uh, everything about my boobs dude I swear like I just cannot then I started picking myself apart and I started noticing like all the things that were like wrong with me so I decided when I was 18 that I was gonna go get my nipples pierced because I was like well I'm never gonna have the money for a boob job nor do I really want to get surgery on my boobs and so I decided to get my nipples pierced I go to the shitty piercing sale $20 piercings waited in line for six or seven hours and got my nipples pierced and um left them in for two years didn't even change the bar out to a smaller size until like a year and a half into having them. specific issue with my boobs is that for one felt like they just like sit low on me and like i think my nipples are huge i still think this i think they're like obnoxiously large i wish i just had like cute little tiny nipples i wish i had cute little tiny boobs and i don't but Part of self-love is just learning to accept your body how it is. I learned to realize by the time that I, like, took my nipple piercings out that, like, they were actually making me more insecure of my boobs because they didn't look very good. They weren't done the best, and if anything, they just kind of made my boobs look even more saggy and, like, drew all the attention down, drew all the weight down, and... Now that I don't have my nipples pierced anymore, I have learned to love my boobs so much more. I'm not fully there. Like, I still have days where I look at my boobs and I'm like, ew. But the fact that I'm able to not wear a bra, I'm not wearing a bra with a shirt that I'm wearing today. And like, me a few years ago would never. Anyway, another thing that really helped me was my current boyfriend. Um, literally is like, obsessed with my boobs he loves my boobs so much i have never been praised on my boobs in my life he just like appreciates my boobs just in general not only in a sexual way which has helped me so much and like every time that i'm like ew my boobs are disgusting like i hate my boobs he just like knows how to like cheer me up and be like babe no like your boobs are beautiful and like your body is perfect just don't worry about it i have learned to really just like love my body and accept my body and you know it is what it is and this is the only body that you've got so instead of spending your whole life being miserable and being like oh i hate my body i'm disgusting you know like it's good to just learn to like love yourself and accept yourself and i think the only thing that i could really like tell you guys is that the only body you've got don't let other people decide if you're gonna love yourself or not um, it is not cocky or bad to love yourself. I think that there is, you know, a good, healthy way to be like, I'm the shit and I don't need to listen to what anybody else says. Versus, like, actually being like, I'm better than everyone. There's a huge difference there. But I think, you know, people get turned down so much for, like, having any sort of confidence you know sorry if you're not there yet i hope the best for you and i hope you learn to love yourself but why why is there something so wrong with like a girl being like damn i look cute i think that you need to own your shit and don't let people make you feel bad about your body and if they do know that it comes solely from their insecurity not something being wrong with you which i know that's something that like everyone says and it's hard to like believe and really apply that but it really is true i promise you i think it's also insanely insanely important to surround yourself with good people if you're surrounding yourself with hateful judgmental people you're gonna turn into that especially towards yourself it's just really good to surround yourself with people who truly love you and appreciate you and value your whole entire existence i highly advise to delete people who make you feel like shit about yourself like don't hate follow people don't follow people that make you feel insecure about yourself you just really got to 
sorry to talk and do lipstick follow people who genuinely like inspire you and just don't make you feel bad about yourself at all you can do cheesy things like write cute little notes to yourself on your mirror um learn to just like you know find your angle where you think you actually look good pose naked in front of the mirror and be like why do i hate my body so much like it's a body it does what it does it keeps me alive and you should be thankful for at very least that. You can't play mind games with yourself forever. Hold on, I do not like how my hair looks down today. You have to correct your internal dialogue, and instead of looking in the mirror and being like, oh, I wish that like my stomach wasn't so fat, I wish my boobs were bigger, I wish my boobs were smaller, you have to learn, you have to train yourself to look in the mirror and be like, I like this about myself, and to not feel guilty for that. Cause like, for me, transitioning from like, absolutely hating myself constantly putting myself down to like being like no i'm all right dude like pretty happy with myself i'm pretty happy with my body like it felt so guilty for me at first but you gotta just keep pushing through keep telling yourself that you're cute that you're beautiful that your boobs look amazing that you have a nice butt that you have nice legs you have nice arms your tummy is adorable you know you have to tell yourself these things and you just have to, I don't want to say fake it till you make it, but you just have to be persistent. You have to keep telling yourself these things or else this internal dialogue is never going to change. Learn to love yourself for however it makes you feel good, however it makes you feel happy. I just had to throw that in there, but yeah. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I hope this was somewhat helpful. I hope it was inspiring and I hope that it's something that kind of resonates with you and I hope that you learn to love yourself and... I hope that we can all just love ourselves at least a little bit. So, um, you could probably hear my brother playing, you could hear Kitty scratching, you could hear the dog barking. This has been a very distracting video, like, background noise-wise, so I'm very, very, very sorry for that. It's a Sunday and my whole family's home and I can't do anything about it, but I still really wanted to film and get deep with you guys. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and if you want to see more, like, big sis talks, like I said, I'm not going to be doing my makeup in all of these. I just needed something to kind of, you know, get me flowing. Leave a comment down below if you want to see more big sis talks. If you have anything that you need advice on or that you want me to talk about, please leave a comment down below and let me know. Give this video a thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed to my channel with the notifications on. And I'll see you guys in my next video. I love you guys so much.